I'm in Flanders today. That's North Belgium and home to some of the country's most interesting cities. This one is Brussels, the capital of Belgium. There's plenty to do here and it's a good place to start a tour of Flanders. The locals even call it the heart of Europe because it's only a stone's throw away from Amsterdam, Paris, as well as London. But the best way to experience Brussels is firsthand. I call it the good life. And I'm not kidding. Here in the Grand Place, you'll find iconic Brussels sites. August 15th to 19th of every other year, this square is filled up with over one million begonias that make up a colorful, intricate, and unforgettable flower carpet. The rest of the year, it's a popular destination for visitors from all over Europe, as well as the rest of the world. There are some gorgeous churches here, and some not so pious churros. You can probably guess why this guy is called the Mannequin Piss. The quality of food in Flanders is top notch, especially if mussels, chocolate, and some french fries on the side will satisfy your cravings. Brussels has more to it than just mussels, though. Culinary treats line the streets. You just have to look around and you're sure to find something to love. More than one million residents make Brussels the largest city in Flanders as well as all of Belgium. But it's worth maneuvering around the crowds to catch some of the sights that you can experience while here. You might even run into a Smurf. Well, not really, but Belgians take their comic strips very seriously. That's why at the Belgian Comic Strip Center, situated in a beautiful Art Nouveau building, you'll find exhibits dedicated to Tintin, the Smurfs, and other popular and well-regarded Belgian comic characters and the artists who created them. The fun continues outside the museum and all around Brussels on these unique comic strip walls. But watch out, you might just see a familiar face. Let's hope you don't get so unlucky. If you're a tourist coming to Brussels, go where the locals go, which is the St. Catharines area. Here you'll find these great cafes with outdoor seating and some of the best food you're going to find in all of Brussels. With over a dozen Michelin-starred restaurants and cuisine from all over the world, Brussels is one of the best cities on the continent to wine and dine. My choice today, it's gonna to be the stand-up variety. And it's gonna be a former fish market turned restaurant known as Mer du Nord. As the crowd shows, Mer du Nord is one of Brussels' highest rated and most popular seafood restaurants. The seafood here is fresh and so is the atmosphere. It definitely has my recommendation. No stop in Brussels is complete without a waffle break. I'm a couple hours before my dinner, and so I'm gonna try something, but it's hard to decide. I can do a banana split because they'll put ice cream. I can do almost like a strawberry shortcake on top, brown sugar, almonds, you name it. They even have sprinkles. I think I'm gonna go a little on the lower fat side, one coated with chocolate. Feel like you've come to know Brussels pretty well in these few minutes? Maybe you have. Well, this is where I leave you, in the middle of Belgium's biggest city, while I chow down on a chocolate-covered Belgian waffle. It definitely doesn't get much better than this.